This video will cover Contact Form 7's use and implementation within WordPress. Contact Form 7 is a WordPress plugin. Uh, this video is presented by yours truly, Mike. Contact Form 7, some basic information. The programmer behind this uh, form is Takayuki Mayoshi. I believe I pronounced that correctly. Uh, you can donate for the Contact Form 7 at his website at contactform7.com slash donate. This is a free and open source software and is only um, supported through donations. Again, the WordPress, um, if you don't know already, WordPress.org is a support site for WordPress. WordPress.com and create a free blog for the support site of WordPress, WordPress.org. Okay, now we're I'm going to show you a screenshot. Um, you do not not need to log into your WordPress website at this point in time. I just want to have you be aware of four specific areas once we do log in. Hopefully, this visual will help you to memorize um, what you're doing once you do log in. So, first area I want you to pay attention to is the form. Now, this area here is where um, is the content in this area is what will actually be on your website's page. So when you create a page, you'll simply copy and paste the short code um, for the contact form, and you'll learn about that a little bit later. Um, but just just to to re just to clarify, again, this this area here um, is what's going to be in the actual form. Notice that there's a use of the P or paragraph tag. There's also the BR tag, which is, you know, obviously for break. Um, so, just a clarification there. Next, we have the generate tag field, which, if you notice, there's a generate tag drop down menu. Which you click on this, you can actually generate a tag um, that you can then use within the HTML, the form itself. And then once you create the generate the tag, you will also be adding contents of the tag not only to the form, but also to the message body. Next area I want you to pay attention to is the mail area. Now notice we have um, first two. Now this is going to be who the contact form says sends the, the email to. First thing I want you to notice. Um, secondly, we have the from field. Now, if your the per, the individual that creates your user creates the form submits their email, it'll be you'll you'll have uh, you can actually put their email in the from uh, uh, field. I caution against this only being because if you reply from the contact form to the individual's email, you're also including uh, inter the internet header from your email that was sent directly from your web server so it's a security risk so my suggestion is for example in my in a contact form I have I use uh, from no reply at mikestratton.net that way if I click reply it goes nowhere uh, next obviously subject that's in the subject matter um, so just some basic information there finally um, in this portion of the video I want to point out the message body. Now in this area, this will be the email message body, the email that you receive in your inbox once someone fills out the contact form on your website and clicks submit. If you notice the first line from your name, your email. Uh, go back over into the form area, the top left, and you'll see your name and your email in the first two paragraphs. So those two are tied directly together, um, and I know that might seem a little confusing at this point. It all come together once once I show you the demonstration. Here in a second, I'll have you log into your WordPress site and follow along step by step. Okay, again we have the contact form seven a screenshot. Um, I'm going to magnify a specific section of this. Uh, the contact form 7 interface um, with the reason being we're going to focus on two specific areas 
um, the form tag syntax, which goes within the form, and then the mail tag syntax, which goes within the mail area. So, uh, and some of this is going to be a little confusing. Do not concern yourself with that. It'll make sense by the end of this video. Uh, we're just going to start out complex and simplify it towards the end. So, first of all, the form tag syntax is always given in a specific um, uh, model. First, we have everything's got to be entered within two brackets. That designates that it's syntax. Um, within those brackets, we have a type, a name, options, and value. Now, the only things that are required within the syntax are the first two, type and name. So type is basically, um, oh, secondly, so type is, is what type of HTML we're adding. Okay, it's the uh, H, actual HTML element. The name is our unique identifier which will then be transposed into the mail tag syntax. Um, again, the options of value are optional tags, syntaxes. A uh, syntax is within the tag. Again, if this is confusing, no worries. Um, this you better understand. The type is defines the HTML element to be added. Some basic um, HTML types that can be added through this form, text fields, text area, check boxes, radio buttons, menus, CAPTCHA, and submit button. The exception with CAPTCHA is that um, it does not work unless you've got an additional plugin installed known as the really simple CAPTCHA. Without that plugin installed, you will not be able to have uh, CAPTCHA verification validation on your forms. So here are um, the equivalents. If we want to add a text field, uh, in the, the place where we put uh, type, we'd enter text for a text field. I'm not going to go through each one of these. I just want to show you exactly the exact, exact uh, syntax for each type. Again, might seem confusing. No worries. Uh, it'll come together in the end. So at this point in time, I'd like for you to log into your um, WordPress website so we can actually have a Contact Form 7 demo. Okay, so here we are again in the Contact Form 7 interface within WordPress. Going to magnify um, specific portion of the contact form seven interface, and so we can have first uh, first step in this. We're going to add a text field. We do this by adding the form syntax tag. First of all, we have text, which is the type that tells uh, the um, contact form seven WordPress. That on the form side, what the user sees, there's going to be a text input field. We give it a name called txt-name. Um, after doing this, we need to generate the message body tag. So the text name needs to be transposed over, copy and pasted, transferred, however you want to word it, into the message body. Um, then we give some HTML to the form. Basically, we add a paragraph tag with a break. Uh, your name before the break with a question mark. That's just going to be the input, the question that, that uh, the visitor sees to ensure that they fill out the form. Then we have the message body text, which this will be what you view in your email when, when the user submits the email. So you'll see username. Um, and then I'll say text name, which is actually going to be equivalent to whatever the user inputs. Okay, let's add a submit button. First step, we need to add form syntax and form HTML. Um, you can see uh, we have um, to simply paragraph with the type, is, which is submit which tells the contact form 7 within WordPress that the uh, on the on the um, user side there's going to be submit button 
send is what the text will be within that submit button. Uh, form the HTML, a little bit of repetitive here. So we go one, three, four. I can count actually. I uh, should have removed this, but but before the time of the video, I've kind of pressed for time. Uh, quite a few clients I'm working for now at this point in time. So anyways, the form, the uh, form of the HTML is just the paragraph tag. Quite obviously, the message body text. Uh, there's nothing relevant to this when you're using a submit button. That's only relevant if um, it's something where the user actually is entering da data. So, but submit button, they're not entering data. They're just sending the the. Um, <clears throat> okay, next step in this, I want to magnify a specific area within the Contact Form 7 interface within WordPress. At the top of the form, above the areas where we've been work, working at so far, you're going to see, uh, it's going to say Contact Form 1, or whatever the name of your form is that you have. Copy and paste this code. So this code right here, you want to copy it. So now we're going to open up a page. Uh, you create a new one or edit an existing page. Then you just paste that code from the contact form 7 into the page. That's simple. So uh, next step is the visitor of your website will see this. Um, basically you can see that the your name and the send is the same uh, font that I used on the other side just so you can get get the, get a better idea of how it works from one side to the other. When your visitor enters their name and clicks send, I'm going to use Joe Johnson as a generic name, you receive an email that looks like this. Have the username Joe Johnson. Remember that within the mail a portion of the Contact Form 7 interface, we stated that we wanted to have uh, in our email it state username and then the txt dash name, which the user entered Joe, Joe Johnson. Hopefully that helps you to better understand how this works. Now that we've done things on a little more complex level, let's simplify the process. So, that said, first thing we want to do is we want to click on Generate Tag. When the drop-down menu opens up, we're going to click on Text Field. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next thing we need to do is copy this code right here. Again, you can see you have first the, um, the type, which is text. And then you have the name, which the uh, generate tag gives it a generic name, in this case, text-269. So we copy that. We paste it over here. Um, next thing we need to do is take the text-269, and this is um, for the message body. This is uh, just to help you see, hopefully this visual will process. So that's it. That's the end of this video. Um, the author of this, uh, the work on the, for this uh, plugin, contactform7.com. That's their website, WordPress, wordpress.org. And yours truly, mikestratton.net. If you can dream it, I can build it. I write code in Java, C++, and upon the LAMP stack. So that said, not only do I work on those platforms, but I can take your dream for software, whatever it might be, and make it a reality. And that includes any mobile platform or um, you know, a desktop application, a web application. If you can dream it, I can build it. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me on my YouTube channel or via my website with your ideas. I'm um, always interested to hear what you think, what the next big thing is. So that's it for now. Thanks. Have a great day or night, however it may be in, in your current lifestyle, I guess you would say. Thanks. Have a great day. Hope to hear from you soon.